1812, a dwelling was constructed on Main Street when it was still part of Orange and sat at the entrance to West Orange when it became a town in 1863 and became known as the Condit House. In 1827, St. Mark's Episcopal Church was first constructed alongside the Condit House and the recognizable church steeple and bell tower of today was built in 1861. Twenty years later in 1881, a branch of the Erie Railroad was extended to Main Street and West Orange's second train station was constructed next to St. Mark's Church. These three structures sat side by side for many years as landmarks on West Orange's landscape. Beaming proudly as icons of West Orange history, at once was considered the town center. In 1965, the train station was long abandoned and neglected and had outlived its usefulness and the Erie Railroad saw permission to tear it down. The lot where it stood next to St. Mark's Church remains vacant to this day. On September 14, 1989, the Condit House, which had stood for 177 years and predated the construction of St. Mark's Church, was torn down and the lot where it once stood also remains vacant. The Condit House was considered the last federal period building standing in Essex County. With the Erie train station and Condit House gone, at least West Orange history was well represented as St. Mark's Church survived and still stood as West Orange's oldest landmark. On January 1, 2016, that all changed when an early morning fire gutted St. Mark's Church and rendered a devastating loss to the oldest building in downtown West Orange. It had been a familiar landmark which had stood at the entrance to the town for nearly two centuries. The church literally was part of West Orange since it was built with brownstone quarried from Trump's quarry in West Orange. The church steeple and bell tower were designed by the famous architect Richard Upjohn and is still is the same today as would be recognizable to our long gone Civil War veterans. The St. Mark's Church known to generations of West Orange residents now belongs to the ages. The surviving stone remnants of the structure now face a most uncertain future and will likely crumble as dust as they return to the West Orange soil from where they came. I'm Joe Fagan, the official historian of West Orange Township. My title is only honorary, but the history it represents is real. By coincidence, I was filming a story about the West Orange train station next to St. Mark's only hours before the devastating fire. I had no way of knowing my videos would be the last movies ever taken to St. Mark's. So often history lies in the fringes of our daily life, hiding in plain view, virtually unnoticed, and sometimes even unappreciated. Until the day is upon us when it is gone and never to be seen again. In 1907, the poet Ellen M. H. Gates wrote a poem entitled, to the unborn peoples. The final line of her poem sums up what we have lost and perhaps best represents the final message of St. Mark's Church as it lies in ruins. She wrote, Ye peoples yet unborn, we leave you all that love bequeaths. Above our dust your songs will swell. Hail, hail, and then farewell. Farewell.